permanent waving theory review to pass the cosmetology and barbering written exam its state board for permanent waves. Permanent waving is chemically and permanently rearranging straight hair into curly form using perm rods, permanent wave solution and permanent wave neutralizer. The hair stays curly until it is cut or relaxed. The new growth needs to be perm retouched to take the curly form. Perm wave procedure is part of chemical texture services. The three texture services are permanent waving, chemical straightening, and soft curl permanent. Hair structures affected by perm relaxers and soft curl perm are cuticle, the outer layer of the hair that is responsible for hair porosity based on the overlapping imbrications on the hair. Cortex, the middle layer of the hair responsible for hair strength and elasticity. Perm solution and relaxers penetrate to the layer and rearrange the disulfide bonds to a curly or straight form. Medulla, the innermost layer of the hair, is not involved in perm relaxer process but could be subject to chemical burns if the hair is overprocessed. Hair bonds. Hydrogen bonds are side bonds in the hair that are broken by water. Salt bonds are side bonds in the hair that are broken by pH change. Disulfide bonds are side bonds that are only broken by chemicals. Peptide bonds are end bonds that link amino acids in long polypeptide chains not affected by chemicals unless the hair is overly processed, resulting in hair breakage. Client consultation for chemical texture services. Always ask open-ended questions, not yes or no questions, about the client's past texture services, hair current hairstyle, and desired finish style. Evaluate hair texture, porosity, condition, and wave pattern. Fill out a client record card. Perform a test for presence of metallic salts if necessary. Client record card must be updated with each permanent wave relaxer and soft curl permanent wave services. Has to include the client's hair analysis. Service procedure, tool size and the chemicals used, processing time, type of products used and their strengths, wrapping techniques and end results. Client release form must be signed before perm, relaxer, and soft curl permanent wave services. It does not completely release the salon for responsibility due to malpractice, but lets the client be aware of possible hair damage to the exposure to the high pH of the product. When analyzing the scalp, look for cuts, abrasions, and diseases if present. Send the client to the physician. Do not perform permanent wave hair relaxer and soft curl permanent services. Analyze the hair to determine hair porosity, the ability of the hair to absorb moisture, density, the amount of hair per square inch, elasticity, the ability of the hair to stretch and revert, texture, the diameter of hair, the general feel of hair, direction of growth, colic, hair stream and whorls need to be considered when wrapping hair for permanent waving. Permanent wave steps. Physical process involves wrapping the hair on a perm rod. Chemical process involves using a permanent wave solution and permanent wave neutralizer to chemically set the hair into a curly form. The permanent wave wrapping. Choose the size and the shape of the curl and what type of curl is desired, spiral or coconut. Keep even tension when wrapping the perm. Using too much tension when wrapping the hair on a rod will result in hair breakage since the perm solution softens and swells the hair. Perm tools, perm rods. Concave rods are the most common type of perm rods. They have smaller circumference in center and larger circumference or end that produce a tighter curl in the center and loose curl in the sides of the strand. Straight perm rods produce uniform curls since the rods are equal in circumference along the entire length of the rod. Long rods are designed for a longer base section where the perm rod is positioned on the scalp. Short rods are used for areas on the head where the long rods are too long to fit. Soft bender rods are 12 inch long rods that are covered with soft foam or a flexible wire that could be bended and reshaped, allowing the rod to cover a large base section and the even diameter along the rod allows to shape it to uniform curls. Soft bender perm rods could be used for spiral and coconut curls. Loop circle rods are 12 inches long and have uniform diameter and produce even curls for very long hair. 
They can be fastened together to form a circle. End papers are absorbent papers for hair ends used during wrapping the perm. They are designed to protect the hair ends from getting fish hooks after they are exposed to the permanent wave solution by being extended beyond the hair ends. End paper wraps. Single flat wrap uses one end paper on the top of the hair strand that is being wrapped on a perm rod. Double flat wrap uses two end papers, one on the top and the other under the hair strand being wrapped on a perm rod. Book end wrap uses one end paper that folds around the hair strand overlapping the strand. Book end wrap works well on short hair that could be extended with the use of the end paper to be able to wrap around the perm rod. Sectioning. Section is also called a panel. Most perm wrapping is done on 9 to 12 panels. Subsections are also called base sections. Each perm rod is placed on its own base section. Perm wrapping techniques. Crocognol technique is when the hair is wrapped on the perm rod from the hair ends to the scalp in overlapping manner. Spiral wrap could be done either from hair ends to the scalp or the scalp to the ends. The hair spirals along the perm rod on an angle and never overlaps. Piggyback wrap is used for extra long hair using two perm tools. One perm rod is used to wrap the hair from scalp to the mid length of the hair. Then a second perm rod is used from mid length to the rest of the hair. An end paper is used for the ends when wrapping the second perm rods. Chemistry of perm waving. The permanent wave solution is made of ammonium thioglycolate ATG. Is applied to the hair wrapped in perm rods first. It softens and swells the hair and opens the cuticle layer of the hair for the product to penetrate the cortex. It breaks the disulfide bonds in the hair. Perm solution ingredients. Ammonium thioglycolate is the most common permanent wave solution ingredient that is colorless liquid with pungent odor. Ammonium thioglycolate is a reducing agent that breaks down the disulfide bonds in the cortex. The process is called reduction whereby the hydrogen atom is added to the hair bond. Thioglycolic acid is another ingredient that may be in perm solutions that do not have ammonium thioglycolate, ATG the reducing agent, and it does not swell the cortex like ATG, so alkalizing agent is added by the manufacturers to make the product from acid to alkaline. Types of permanent waves. Alkaline waves or cold waves have ammonium thioglycolate for an ingredient with the pH of 9.0 to 9.5. True acid waves have glycerol monothioglycolate GMTG for an ingredient with the pH of 4.5 to 7.0. Using heat on the perm rod saturated with true acid waves will help speed up the perm process. Acid balance waves have a pH of 7.8 to 8.2. Most of those wave solutions require the hairdresser to mix an activator to the solution prior to use on hair wrapped on perm rods. This creates an exothermic rapid heat reaction in the bottle. The peroxide ingredient in the activator increases the temperature in the perm wave solution bottle. Exothermic waves are solutions that create heat reaction within the product that speeds up the perm process. Endothermic waves are activated by outside heat source, like hood dryer that is applied to the hair saturated with the solution to speed up the perm process, outside source of heat. Ammonia-free waves do not smell because they do not contain ammonium thioglycolate and they do not have an unpleasant odor, but they still damage the hair like any other perm solution. Low pH waves are weak waves that give body waves and contain sulfates, sulfites, bisulfates. Permanent wave processing. Perm wave processes in 5 to 10 minutes. Periodic strand testing will determine the curl formation. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for additional directions pertaining the processing time. Additional time will not make the curl firmer or smaller. It will over-process and damage the hair. If the hair is under-processed, it means not enough disulfide bonds were broken to take the form of the perm rod. More time is needed to complete the perm process. Neutralization. Neutralizer is applied after the perm solution has been rinsed and the hair on the perm rods were towel blotted. It stays on the hair for five minutes and is rinsed out. The chemical action of the neutralizer is to reharden and shrink the hair. It also restores the pH balance of the hair from alkaline to acid state. 
neutralizer rebuilds the disulfide bonds into their new shape that is conformed to the size of the perm rod. The active ingredient in the neutralizer is 5 to 10 volume hydrogen peroxide, the oxidizing agent. Neutralizer has an acid pH. Classification of permanent wave procedures. Basic perm wrap or straight back wrap. All tools rods are wrapped in the same direction. All subsections base sections are horizontal. All rods are positioned in equal size bases. Brick lay perm wrap base sections subsections are offset and are parted in a brick lay fashion that prevents hair strands to have noticeable splits. Could be started from the side, crown or back area of the head. Curvature perm wrap. Pie shaped partings are used. Perm rods are wrapped following the curve of the head. Double tool perm technique. Piggyback wrap with two perm rods. Some parts of the hair in the lower back could use one perm rod due to the shortness of the hair. Weave technique uses zigzag partings. Spiral perm wrap. Hair spirals along the perm tool at an angle. Base sections may be vertical or horizontal. Concave rods, circle tools, and bendable foam rods could be used to do the spiral perm wrap. Works well for long hair. Partial perm wrap is used when the clients do not wish to have their entire hair permed. When the clients have long hair on the top and short hair at the back and the sides, and only the top portion could be permed. When the top hair portion is permed for volume, when the hair perimeter is only permed leaving the top portion straight. To make sure that the partial perm is transitioned smoothly, use a larger tool where the wrapped hair meets the straight hair. Protect unrolled hair with a protective cream or petroleum jelly, not to further damage it with the unnecessary saturation of perm solution. Preliminary test curl. A perm test on a strand of hair to check for processing time, the effect of the strength of the solution on the hair, the extent of damage, and the final result before doing the permanent wave service on the entire hair. Perms for men help give fullness to sparse hair, easy manageability, wavy or curly look, and controls the direction of the colic. Basic permanent wave procedure. Perform a client consultation and refer to client record card. Wash hands, set up sanitary maintenance area. Wash hands again. Drape the client with two towels and a plastic cape. Wash the hair with clarifying shampoo. Section the hair into 9 to 12 sections. Wrap the hair on the perm tool, perm rods, with even tension using end papers. Apply protective cream around the hairline. Apply cotton around the hairline. Wear gloves. Apply the perm solution to the rod. Change the cotton around the hairline. Apply plastic cap over the head wrapped with perm rods. Test curl every 5 to 10 minutes. Remove the plastic cap and cotton and thoroughly rinse the hair. Towel blot the hair on rods. Apply neutralizer and wait for 5 minutes. Gently remove the perm rods and apply more neutralizer to the hair and wait for 3 to 5 minutes. Rinse the hair. Rinse only, no shampoo. Towel blot the hair. Record the results in the client record card. Undrape the client and clean up. For all perms, follow the manufacturer's instructions.